One. Are you ready to play a one? One. Fucking <laughs> Sorry, had to get that out. We just got back from seeing Ready Player One. Mm -hmm. The the montage of what was our childhood. Besides those shitty ass Ninja Turtles that made a cameo that yeah. wasn't hashtag not my Ninja Turtles. Nope. Not my Ninja Turtles. Not my Ninja Turtles. Turtles. That's Michael Bay shit turtles. Fucking ass. Shit turtles. So Adam, I got a question for you. Mm hmm What'd you think of the movie? I thought it was fucking awesome. Awesome. Ask me what I thought about it. What'd you think about it? Eh. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking with you. Uh, but honestly though, um uh, best Spielberg movie in years. It it, it really years. is. Like I think I was I was like looking at his filmography and I'm looking at all these movies and I'm like, you know, Munich came out in 2005. Okay, it's been 13 years since then. I think the only other film that measures up to Ready Player One besides Munich is Bridge of Spies. Yeah, that, that, like that's what I said too. I, like I like the post. Okay, it was the okay. post. The post was okay. BFG but sucked. The BFG was god awful. That was terrible. I, I, um, remember, man, that's your hard camera. I know, I know, that's your hard I, camera. I know where it is. Okay, that that's the I know. Screen. Hard camera. Right. I know. But uh, no, no, yeah, BFG was garbage. Um, Bridge of Spies was good, but. And I even like the post, but we know why the post was made. The post was to make political reasons and win Oscars. And it didn't win no Oscars. No, it did not. It did not win an Oscar. Uh, th this was actually a fun Spielberg movie for it, once. It, so. was, it was so, so much fun. Yeah. Um, this, this was basically... And this had a great uh, message about our society today. Okay, about how we are all like, especially like us who do this, you know, we are all so obsessed with pop culture and it has this great message about, you know, enjoying it but not being lost in it, about ex about enjoying the real world too and, you hey, know, hey, which is that, that's, which, which is ironic. Awesome. It is. Because right before the movie started, I got into a fight with a guy for being on the cell phone. So, so I, the ironic yeah, that he did, like, 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 I was like, hey, buddy. Okay, and I hope you're watching this video, you fucking twinkle toe, fucking dick face motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I'm like, hey buddy, can you mind? And I was cool with the guy. Yeah, it's like, can you I, just put your yeah. Phone I was like, away? hey buddy, can can you just shut the phone off, please? And he goes, he has he has this thing on dim, right? And he goes dim. He looks at me, he's like bright dim, bright like just pissing me off, man. I, I went and I got the fucking uh manager, and I told the manager, I'm like, look. You need to go in and get this guy, or I will fucking ninja kick his ass. <laughs> I said it just like that, right? And he's like, and he looked at me like, I'm gonna see you ninja kick. I, I, I almost was like, don't, don't fucking dare me. I can ninja kick. <laughs> but he went in there, and the fucking the guy was cool for the rest of the movie. Thank God. But uh, yeah, like like because Ready Player One kind of has that message where you know it's cool to be plugged in and shit, but you know you gotta experience the real life. So don't be a fucking dickhead and be on your goddamn cell phone in the goddamn theater, okay? <laughs> It's not cool. It's I, not dig cool. I, I digress, man. No, so. do not do that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, I mean, it was a cool little movie. I mean, by no means. Well, I haven't seen many films yet this year. I mean, I've seen a few. I mean, well, it's not Black Panther level, but uh, I think it's a good, a good movie for sure. Um, I mean, it's a, it's an average Easter hunt movie. There, it, Easter egg hunt movie. You know, it's like it, it is. Um, but it's funner than the average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie. Like, like, and and I I love like all the pop culture references they had. Okay, there were a couple missed opportunities, like the one you were talking about. Like at the end, there was clearly an opportunity for them to have the Megazord from Power Rangers, and nothing yeah. showed up. Okay, yeah. uh, they had something else, which I thought was just as cool, but he's not really a fan of. Yeah, if, right, you're, but, if you're not a fan of that, whoa, 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 whoa I'm moving on shit. Yeah. But if you're not a fan of what popped up, then having that pop up, like, like every, understandable. Everybody should know what that is, even if you don't watch that yeah. show. But the the to have Megazord. Against would have, fucking would have, Mega Godzilla, I would, I would like, dude, I would sh shit my pants, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like the last Easter egg hunt movie I remember seeing is like the worst movie of all time, and that was like Gem and the Holograms. But uh, one, two, <laughs> it was the I had erased that from my memory. It was the it's first flooding back. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped in, man. It was uh, so bad. You know what really surprised me about this movie is like ninety. 
I was yeah, I would say ninety percent of this movie is CGI, and you totally forget about so, that. Yeah, you really, you really do because like you just get lost yeah. in this oasis with the characters, yeah. and uh, it, it becomes like this natural thing over a while. I love that you have this like badass assassin who knows what he's doing. Okay, mm-hmm. but he has the voice of T.J. Miller, and like <coughs> we don't know. So, he... so he's talking like, uh, yeah, bro, like I'm awesome. I can do all this shit. Yeah. I'm badass. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like, I like how it feels. Best video game me- movie we got in years. Um, I'll but, give you that. But um, I like, I like how it combines these video game elements and pop culture elements. And there, and I, I kind of find out who uh, did the score for this movie. I don't know off the top of my head, but they add a lot of that um, Back to the Future. You know, you know, you know that that yeah. thing. They they add that a lot throughout this movie, which I thought was fantastic. It might actually have been Alan Silvestri. I could be wrong. It, on it that. might be, man. Yeah, because I, I mean, he, I could, he did the back of yeah, the yeah, you go ahead and talk. I'll look it up. Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing that surprised me in this was also Ty Sheridan, who there's several movies I, I've seen him in. I'm just not like a big fan. Either, I, I, either I, 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 like especially as Apoc- in Apocalypse, they made him like the whiniest Scott Summers they probably yeah. could have. In this, he actually gets a chance to shine. He's playing a likable character, and you can really relate to him. And uh, he's given a chance to really show what he can do. And I think this actor's got a nice future ahead of him. Uh, all the side actors do a pretty good job as well. The main thing is. The, you have that evil corporation that's in like every fucking movie like this. Okay, it's just of course there's an evil company. Yeah. All right, and um, I think what helps make this work though is that you have um, I can't remember the actor's name, but he played Daggett in The Dark Knight Rises. You have him as like the head of this corporation, and he is like the slimiest mother motherfucker you can see in a movie like this. And uh, he is having a ball with this role. Yeah, like he w- he was loving being the villain. Who who was it? Who, who? Alan Silvestri. That's that's who I thought. No no no. Who are you talking about as the villain? Oh no no. I I honestly don't know who the um uh, the, the actor, actor? Uh, yeah, Ben not... Middleton. Oh oh okay. He ben played uh, in Rogue One. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I don't see who picking. I don't see who the scorer is. Who did? Alan Silvestri is composing the Ready Player One score. You, you okay, know, yeah, I was right. right. Alan Silvestri, right. awesome. Yeah. So, oh well, that favorite composer. Yeah, that, I mean, hey, um, yeah. So uh, Ben Millison, you know, he was. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious, and this uh, this is not a spoiler. And if it is, I don't give a fuck. Go cry in a pillow. Uh, but I love how his avatar in the in the Oasis was Superman. And- did you notice that? Yes, it, it was. Like, like he, he was Bill. He had the jaw. Uh, and he had the curl. Yeah. And, and it was like uh, like an evil well, version of Superman. Superman. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a lot of Easter eggs, man. They got something for... Like, they literally have something for everyone. They, they have shit for horror fans in here, man. Yeah. You're going to see Chucky. It's I mean, badass. I mean, <laughs> Freddy Krueger's in there for like a blink of an eye second. Yep. Jason. Yes, Jason's in there too, like there. to tear him apart. Yep, my, my, my boy Master Chief made a cameo in there. Mm-hmm. We, we had the Shrek Ninja Turtles in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, Gundam, like like five million different Carlys and Overwatch characters. Yeah, I, I love how they use gaming references. The like, Shining. Like, 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 well, I'm talking about yeah. more like gaming lingo, yeah. where it's like, yo, man, that's a camping move. You know, if you yeah. play Call of Duty or Halo or something, you know that campers, you know what campers are. And I like the fact that they're like, oh, that's a camping move. And you know, I, <laughs> I like the, the lingo. But I agree with you so much on um, Twinkle Doe, Dickhead, uh, the one from Apocalypse. Um, the main oh, oh Ty Sheridan. Yeah, I, I, I hated him in Apocalypse. Yeah, I so I hated bad, him. Bad. And, uh, yeah, he was decent. And it also helps that we barely saw him in this movie because we saw more of his avatar than him. Than, yeah. than him. He, he was in this movie, like, 5%. The rest was all motion cap sure. with him. Yeah. So that does help. Um, yeah. I mean, you know what this movie reminds me of what? a lot? Um, oh, my God. Fucking, I... Uh, it's the movie with Bruce Willis. Where everybody in the universe, like on the planet, is has this like, uh, like robotic body. No one goes outside. Surrogate, I think it's called. Where Bruce Willis, something. Surrogate. I've never seen it. it so well, I don't know. Th- that's pretty much what it was. Where like everybody is just an avatar. Well, in this movie, everybody's an avatar. In that movie, everybody's like a surrogate, and they go out. No one yeah. leaves the house, and then finally things get unplugged. Sort of the same idea. I, I know the book came out. Okay, I know. Okay, you don't gotta scream at me. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, well, this is kind of a boring review because I don't have nothing really negative to say I, about I, it. I, I really don't either. I think that the um, opening took a little too long to really get us going with the main plot. That was like really my only thing because I'm sitting there going, okay, just reveal the title. Just reveal the title. Yeah. Then, then like 15 minutes later, okay, there we go. Now, and that, well, but the second that happened, like it kicked in the fucking high gear. Yeah. Year, yeah. I, I, and um, the movie it starts great. and you're like, and then, 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 like fifteen minutes later, it showed the title. I'm like, oh, I thought this shit started twenty minutes ago, yeah. man. I'm, you know, but um, yeah. Um, I mean, there was a few parts in the movie I thought where it kind of lingered. It was a little slow in some parts. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they start. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't read the books. I don't know how the source material is, but it felt like in between key two and key three, it was kind of getting slow. But. I, I did think they could probably shave like ten minutes off this movie. Pro prob probably, probably, but um, again, like the movie is so much fun. Like even the parts that dragged, I felt were entertaining. Yeah. Like that whole sequence with the Shining in this movie. That was hilarious. Oh my god, that, that was hilarious. I just busted out. It was so great. Yeah, that was hilarious. Um, the uh, I'm not gonna say that. That's a spoiler. And Simon Pegg's in it, so yeah, Simon yeah, Simon yeah, Pegg's yeah. in it. It's fucking cool. You know, the whole time I was sitting there, I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? Like who is that? Like like, I, I forgot who I thought originally it was, and then I didn't dawn on me until like an hour into the movie. I'm like, oh, that was Simon Pegg. I thought it was a uh, homeboy who played in um, it's not even that important, but whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Simon Pegg's in the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that doesn't mean anything, guys. I'm just trying to stall time here to keep this review going because I, really <laughs> I don't have nothing. Negative yeah, to I really say. don't have much negative to say. The the acting is very good. The effects are fantastic. Uh, the story is very well told. It has an awesome message. This is definitely a film worth seeing in theaters. You have to see this in theaters, if only once, just to experience uh, it. Okay. And um, yeah. A Adam's like, fuck you. Um. But um, it, I we we can talk about how it's getting negative reviews. That kind of baffles me. I, how how? Yeah, yeah. Like it's at um seventy seven percent the last time I looked at it. Yeah, which is um, insane. Because... I mean, it's still still passing. I think the audience rating was like eighty three or something. Yeah, but well, well, ever since Last Jedi, I don't trust the audience score, rating. Yeah, because you don't even need to see the, the movie to rate it. So yeah. anybody can go in there and just be like, oh, I don't like this thing, but. You know, it's so whatever. But yeah, the only reason why I see critics not liking the movie is if they're completely clueless to the references. I can, Maybe. I can see like a uppity crick critic with a stick up their ass that don't know about these things <laughs> going, well, I don't understand this and I don't understand this and I, what's a camper and I don't understand this. And basically, what this movie really boils down to is Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory in a virtual reality. Even so much, I, did, I never even made that connection. But you are absolutely right. Yeah, especially at the end where he was getting ready. I'm minor spoiler. He's getting ready to sign something. It's like, oh no, this is another test because at the end of Willy Wonka, you that's know, exactly what happened with yeah, the gobstopper. Yeah, yeah, so he he passed the test. So yeah, it, it's it's a modern day Willy Wonka, but with shitload of gaming references. I liked the movie a lot. I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. it. I thought it was fun. It it was it was a good time. No alcohol required. Oh, you had to steal that, didn't you? <laughs> you bastard. Well, actually, I guess it kind of it was alcohol required because we had beer before we yeah, went we, in there. Yeah, we did. But, yeah. So, uh, final thoughts, and we'll wrap this up. Uh, final thoughts, like I said, um, love the acting, love the effects, love the direction, uh, love the story, love the message behind it. I thought the movie was fantastic, so there you go. You know our reviews are a lot more entertaining when we're fucking tearing the shit in or something? Yeah, I know. I've noticed that. We should have reviewed Pacific Rim. Yeah... I didn't like that. Yeah, that movie sucked balls. Yeah, it was really bad. That, that would have been a much funner it's pretty review. Pretty bad. I mean, when like, like even our black trying Man, to make the guy from It's Always Sunny the villain. I, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. It, like, it's, it's stupid. Even our Black Panther video, our review was like, yeah, we don't have nothing <laughs> negative just, to say yeah, about please. it. You know, <laughs> just but, go uh, see it. Yeah, go go see. It. So Ready Player One, guys, uh, a pretty great movie. Enjoyed it a lot. One of the best Spielberg movies we've seen in a long time. Definitely watched the. Horrible taste of the BFG out of my mouth. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Hit that like button. Once again, if you're finding my channel for the very first time, hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to edit this video, so there's not going to be no virtual subscribe button that's going to be covering up Adam's Batman symbol there. So, uh, it, so it is what it is, guys. So until next time, I'm Robert Storms. I'm Adam J. And now that's our opinion. Peace.